I'm gonna be moving Mermico Sisters Mexicanus Golden Honey Pot Ants. Um, I'm gonna go through the process and just give you some quick notes on how to move these guys. So right now we have a lot of these dirt founding chambers. Uh, we have three colonies right here, all in similar setups. And this is my favorite way to found Mermico Sisters Mexicanus or Honey Pot Ants in general. I also have a test tube colony you can see we have about 15 workers or so, uh, and they're usually pulling out the cotton. So I'm gonna move these guys out, um, and we'll see how it goes. So to start, I already hydrated and covered the new nests. These are simple cup forming cariums. You can see they have lots of space to hang. Um, these will, they'll do really well in these. Um, but these are just cheap, cheap ways I house them. I also have this more, uh, maybe more custom uh, formicarium for them. It has magnets and stuff, has a water reservoir attached and an outworld attached. So I'll just dump them in the outworld. I'll dump the colonies in the tubes, um, or the colonies in the cups. Um, and I already watered the holes to the nest section just a little bit. So I just put some water in there each one to about 15 milliliters of water um, so then last step I did was cover them so I already covered all the formicariums I'll cover this one with tin foil so this one's ready to go um, but let's get started with these cup ones all right so let's take our first setup uh, this is a dirt nest right here we're gonna take off the lid of the formicarium that we wanna move them to. Let's move them to this one. I don't use a barrier here. That would probably be smart. Just a little bit of uh, olive oil, but I'm just gonna quickly dump them, put the lid back on, cover it with cotton. Any escapees, I'll do my best to move them back with tweezers. Tighten this in for a little bit. All right. Open the formicarium. Has some leftover food I fed last night. Remove that. Um, and then the fun part, we're just gonna dump them right in. So just make it quick and simple. Tap any and all workers. Make sure you get all the brood. There's a pupae left in there. There you go. That looks like it's everything. All right. So last thing last, I'm just gonna kind of remove. Yeah, there you go. So there's the queen. They're hanging onto this rock or a piece of wood, it looks like. The queen's doing great, got lots of brood. Um, I'm gonna remove all the excess dirt that I can. This will help them find the formicarium below. And it might take a while, but you gotta be patient with these guys. Try not to take the brood out. So I took out most of the dirt. This big chunk right here I can take. Oops. I'm gonna crush the queen. There you go. Um, so I'm just gonna move some dirt out, try to make a hole that goes directly to the nest.
I'm gonna find the hole. There it is. It's right here. Okay, cover them back up. And obviously this is a pretty stressful situation for them. So uh, doing this in a location without a bunch of vibration is key. Without noise, um, don't wanna make it any more stressful than it already is. I'm gonna cover the top with cotton. Um, just make sure that it covers everything. No entrance or exit holes. All right, so I don't know if you can see that, but there is a uh, hole right here that they're gonna move down into. The colony itself is looking good. Queen's nice and fat. Lots of workers, a couple pupae, a couple larvae. Uh, and they'll just move themselves down. So we'll give them uh, probably a couple days and they'll figure themselves out. I'll put them off to the side um, for now. But let's do the next colony. All right. <clears throat> So this is a uh, this is probably my biggest colony right now that I have. I collected all these queens um, late June, so within two months this colony has probably 20 workers or so. So they're gonna be pretty pretty aggressive when I dump them out. So I gotta be quick with this one. Um, get my lid ready. All right. Okay, here goes nothing. Look at that beautiful colony. It's very large. Um, this one, the dirt kind of held together pretty well. Uh, so I'm just gonna cover these up, call it good. Don't need to remove too much dirt. And you just see how quick and easy it can be. Just a quick dump, cover up, move on. All right, next one. Um, let's take these guys. Yes, yeah, so these are worker foraging. Remove the food that I had from earlier. Um, and then we're just gonna dump them. Take out some of this dirt. All right, let's go for it. This one's a bit muddy. So it's more difficult, but you can kind of see that the internal chamber design looks like. It's pretty interesting. Let's see if we can find the queen. Yeah, there she is. Wow, beautiful queen. Um, but let's take out the dirt that we can. Oops. You just want to leave the nest entrance open. Flick everyone out. An escaped worker. All right, I think that's it. Hopefully we can find that worker. I'm not sure where they went. All right, so that colony is good to go. Cover them up. Um, and these, these dirt setups, the ants might live in them for, you know, they might live on in the dirt for a bit 
until the dirt dries out and they will look for that moisture down below. But for now, they're gonna be living up here and that's fine, I'm just keep them in the dark. Uh, I don't like to move these ants with light too much, uh, especially with the plates. You really have to do it manually. So there's those three colonies and last we have this test tube colony that I showed earlier. Um, and this is gonna be a simple dump as well. This time though, we have a smaller outworld, so it might be a bit more interesting. See how this goes down. Just gonna refill their water tower. Um, ants will follow the moisture when looking for a new uh, nest. So keep the outworld dry and keep the nest humid. All right, so similar to what we did last time, we're gonna try to remove as much debris and trash as we can. All right, I think that's most of it. Um, and then of course this outworld is not as big as the others were, so we're gonna have to be careful here. All right, let's go for it. Let's give them a couple good flicks. Once the queen is out, the workers will congregate around her. Um, but you can kind of see all the dirt is coming down. Other workers are going crazy. All right, so it's, it's most of them. So we're gonna cover it up before they all escape. Um, so we've got, it looks like four or five more workers in there. So we'll move them over through the water tube section. But let's just carefully close this. Okay, great. Um, we'll move the other workers in uh, through this water tube section. I don't know if you can see that, but the test tube fits nicely. Um, so that's about it. Uh, all these colonies have been moved quickly, um, and that's the key it seems with this species is to move the ants as fast as possible. All right, let's take a look at these colonies. Got one right there. Nice large colony right here. They were growing really fast. Um, but the queen might have moved down already. We've got this colony right here. Also pretty large. And they're just hiding under the dirt right now. And of course, this colony. It's doing really well. Queen's nice and plump. Um, but they'll find their way. I did actually put some olive oil on this outworld, I forgot. That was quite a while ago when I did. Um, and there is the escaped worker I was looking for. So I'll stop this video, move that, that little worker back into his colony, and then um, I'll update eventually. So there you have it, Myrmacostasis mexicanus moving day.